Playboy Motor Car Corporation was a Buffalo, New York-based automobile company, established in 1947. The company only made 99 cars including one prototype, 97 finished serial-numbered production cars, as well as one unfinished car numbered 98 which has survived with zero miles on the odometer 99 cars total before going bankrupt in 1951. The company Company founder Lou Horowitz was a Packard dealer who after World War II saw a need for a new smaller car for post-war America, a cheaper car than the Packards he sold. It would be built from outsourced parts and cost around $900. Horowitz recruited friends Norm Richardson a skilled mechanic and Charlie Thomas a former Pontiac engineer. In the wake of Preston Tucker's bad press they had difficulty forming a dealer network, and only finished 97 production cars before declaring bankruptcy in 1951. The Playboy convertible prototype The original prototype shares the same general shape as the production model, but features a rear-mounted engine layout and a soft folding top. The Playboy prototype today It is owned and has been restored by company founder Lou Horowitz's grandson David Kaplan. According to Kaplan, the black one never had an official number. When I restored it I put a PR on it for prototype. And I finished it in the early 90s and I don't drive it much but I do drive it. Topic: The Playboy convertible production model. The Playboy had a 40 horsepower, 30 kilowatts Continental four-cylinder side valve engine driving a three-speed manual transmission. It would get 35 mpg US 6.7 L 100 kilometers 42 mpg imp. It would accelerate from 0 to 30 miles per hour 48 kilometers per hour in 6 seconds and 0 to 50 miles per hour 80 kilometers per hour in 17 seconds. Advertised top speed was 75 miles per hour 121 kilometers per hour with a 90 inch 2300 millimeters wheelbase 10 in or 250 millimeters less than the Rambler American the Playboy measured 156 in 4000 millimeters long overall and was priced at just $985 it ran on 12-inch diameter 30 centimeters rims and weighed 1900 pounds 860 kilograms it was offered as a three-passenger convertible with a folding steel top. A station wagon was planned, but never built. Undercapitalized, Playboy could not compete with better financed companies offering more conventional cars. Topic: <laughs> Playboy cars today. Of 97 production cars sold, only about 43 are believed to survive today. Five including the prototype are owned by David Kaplan, grandson of company founder Lou Horowitz. Today Kaplan is an authority on his grandfather's car. See also List of defunct United States automobile manufacturers List of car manufacturers of the United States List of New York companies Topic Notes Topic Sources Flory, J. Kelly, Jr. American Cars 1946-1959. Jefferson, N.C., McFarland and Coy, 2008. Topic External Links http colon slash slash www.playboymotorcars.com Short-lived, odd vehicle collection from Chuck's Toyland Huntsville Rewound feature about Keller Automobiles 18 made, 3 exist